Hey guys, showing you a really quick video today at Dell Latitude 3550 series. We're going to show you how to get in here and access your hard drive, your RAM, and your battery. Uh, they're all accessed the same way in the same area, um, so it's pretty straightforward. We'll show you how to get in there and, and then to, what to watch out for as you're swapping those out. Uh, as always, check out down below the frequently asked questions in, in the description. Uh, that'll save you some time if you have any questions, if you get lost. Um, if I see you asking questions over and over again, I put it in there. Uh, if you don't see a question, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I try to get back to you at least a couple times a day on those comments. So first thing you want to do is flip this computer over. Uh, we're going to unscrew the bottom case. Kind of straightforward and easy in this model. Just two screws here for this main panel that goes all, all over. And then there's a little, a little hole right there that you can put a pry tool in right up top in, in the middle. That's what I'm gonna access to pop that panel up. And then I'm just gonna pull the thing off, just like that. So that comes off just with those two screws uh, being unattached. Uh, let me zoom in here a little bit for you. I'll show you where all the components are that we're working with. So this is your battery right here, this big flat device here. This is your hard drive. And it's got two RAM slots here, so you can access these pretty easily. Also your Wi-Fi card there if you need to access that. And your fan, uh, part of the heat sink assembly if you want to blow that out or, or clean that out. So everything's pretty easily accessed here. It's kind of a nice way to access the inside of your computer. So to get your battery out, which is typically the first thing you want to do in any computer repair, uh, we want to get power out of this computer so we're not messing any, anything up. So it's got screws along the outside of it. I try to keep my screws separate from each other. Um, battery screws together, hard drive screws together. Not all of them are the same size or the same length. So just keep that in mind as you're taking out your components. So I just undid four screws. Looks like that's all I got. Then there's this little black uh, tab right here. I'm gonna pull that up and that battery just comes right up like that. So if you're looking for a replacement for this, uh, these are the specs over here that you would be looking at. It's a Dell battery, um, if you're looking for an, an, an OEM genuine battery, 43 watt, 11.1 volt, and then if you're looking for the Dell part number, that's on the sticker down here. If you look at any Dell part number, you'll hopefully see this. Let me point that out to you. It's got two letters here, five digits, and then five more digits. This is your Dell part number, this middle one. So in my battery, it says 01V2F6. So that's your part number. Sometimes it's shortened by dropping the first zero. So your part number could also be 1V2F6. But if you're on eBay or Amazon or any sites like that and you're looking for a replacement, that's the part number that you would use to find this battery. And then of course you'd have to make sure that these matched up. So that's the deal with your battery. And again, to put it in, you just slide it back in there. It, it plugs itself in and then you'd rescrew it. So now moving on to the hard drive is over here. As usual, hard drives are held in by caddies, which the caddy is then screwed into the computer to keep it from shifting and, and wiggling out. So we'll unscrew the caddy. From the case. And again, they have this nice little convenient tab here. So I'm just going to pull that out just like that. And now the hard drive is plugged into this cord that goes in there. So it's going to unplug that and your hard drive is, is out. So this is a solid state drive. Um, thought it was a hard drive. It's obviously not. It's lighter, smaller. Uh, so in order to get this out or your hard drive out, this now screws into the caddy by two screws on either side. So we'd unscrew it out like this. And again, these screws are not the same size as, as the other screws. Hard drive screws are different. Now keep in mind on your hard drives, when you're removing this from the caddy, it plugged in this way, make sure the orientation of your caddy is the same. So take your hard drive or solid state drive out, but keep the caddy the right way. And then make sure how your hard drive plugged into it. So when you're putting the new one in, 
you're not putting it in like this or like this. You're putting it in the correct way. And then you would just use those same hard drive screws to screw your new one back in. Now hard drives, uh, if you're looking for a replacement hard drive or solid state drive, you're looking for a couple main things. Uh, first of all, you're looking for most laptops, take a 2.5 inch uh, hard drive. That's the size of the hard drive that fits into most of these laptops, 2.5 inch. You're also looking for a SATA connection, S-A-T-A. -A. That's the name for this kind of connection. So as long as you got 2.5 inch usually, a SATA connection, you can get solid state hard drive, um, and you can get any 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 size you want. So as, as long as those criteria are are met, feel free to check your computer specs to make sure of, of that size, though, because not all computers are like that. And then you would just plug this back in with your cable, and then set it back down, screw in your caddy the way it was. Now, lastly, moving on to your RAM, let's zoom into the RAM a little bit more. So this has two RAM slots, again, like I mentioned. Uh, currently, only one slot is, 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 is filled. But RAM is usually held in the same way. This is your RAM stick right there. And there's two metal pins on either side, or arms, that are spring-loaded. And they shut to hold your RAM in, and then they spring open to release your RAM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers on either side, and I'm going to slowly pull these apart, and the RAM stick should just pop up like that. And then you just... Pull it out, like that. So just like a hard drive, as you notice, there's a long port and a short port. So that's got to be in there orientated the correct way. Like if you flip it over, you can't put it in this way. So in order to put it back, you just slide it in, into the port, get it in there secure and flush, and then press down. And each side snaps in. And the, and the same would go for this one down here. Now if you want to know what to replace your RAM with, I always max out my RAM in, in any computer I have. It's fairly cheap to do and, and it improves the performance of, of your computer a, a good amount. So if you want, like if this was my personal computer, I, I definitely wouldn't leave that empty. I'd, I'd, I'd get another RAM stick, I'd, I'd max out whatever this computer could do. Um, I usually use the site Crucial.com at the time of this video being made. That's the site that I check to make sure what I know is the max. Uh, RAM your computer can have. Um, you can't hurt your computer by putting too much RAM in it. It just won't be used. It, w it won't be accessed. So you'll just waste money buying too much RAM in your computer. J j just, just won't use it. So if you want to know how much RAM your computer can take max, check out crucial.com. I'll, I'll have that in the description below. And if you also want to know how to buy the right RAM, because uh, not all RAM sticks will fit all laptop computers, if you want to know how to find the right RAM for your computer, I'll have that link in the description below as well. Uh, so if this helped, uh, please like and share. If you have any questions, leave them below. And uh, if you'd like do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.